Okay, step one for your sharpening process. You always begin, in this case, we're beginning with the JNS 800. Um, and we always begin by setting an initial bevel at a slightly steeper angle than what we're going to end up as. And it's not particularly important, the angle. It's just getting into the edge. So if there's damage or any little tiny chips on the edge, <clears throat> it'll just take those out. Or if there's any dead spots on the edge, as in flat bits where it's not reached a point, um, or there's a burr or anything like that, um, it, it takes, takes that out. It, it, it's, it's a bit of a trick to removing the burr. I'll show you that as we go. So first off, we've got the JNS 300, and this is the JNS 800. It's best to do this little and often, so before you start, just give it a very quick flattening off. If you do it every time, it's not going to be much more than that. So there we go, it's got a nice flat JNS 800. Now, setting the bevel. Um, this is probably the trickiest bit, to be honest, with this particular knife, because the rest of the geometry, you just follow it. You just follow it by, by, by putting pressure on your finger. But what we're going to do, find that initial bevel, and then just come up to a set angle. So let's say, and let's use the thumb. See my thumb there? Use that as a rough guide, and it's not too important as long as we're reasonably consistent through the bevel. So I'm going to do about halfway up my thumb. It's probably about 12, maybe 15 degrees, which is we're going to come in steeper than that eventually. But we just set a bevel. I'm not really when you first start, you might find you're touching your thumb on the stone. I'm doing it here because that's probably how you're going to start. And eventually you'll get a sore thumb, but eventually it becomes, it trains you to become a, a physical habit of that position, muscle memory. And um, you can hold it. See, I, I work both handed and it, I think it's easier to learn this way because I can use my thumb as a guide the other side as well. Just try that. but. The other way that is more common is that people go forwards like that and then they'll go backwards. I can't do that. I, I prefer, but people say they can't do this, but I think it's once you start learning it, well, it's one of these things. The way you learn is the way you learn. So I've set a bevel there. I'm just going to go in a bit more. I took this bevel off before we started, so it was so there were flat spots. So I can show you the process. There's fairly coarse stone, the 800, relatively speaking. You can hear it cuts it pretty quickly. Just pay special attention to get the tip in. As it's quite a coarse stone, the first thing to do is just to see with feel for any flat spots. If you, if you think you can feel a flat spot, have a look in the light and I can actually see a flat spot there. It could be a burr that's just bent over because this stone is fairly, fairly coarse. It does, I can see, it just leaves a bit of a burr. So we've got to do our little best with this coarse stone to remove that burr. So then just go very, very fine. Very fine pressure, maintaining that angle. Have a cloth handy so you can have a wipe up. So you get the handle, don't want to get the handle too wet. I can see that burr's mostly gone, but there's a bit up by the tip. I, you can use this trick, you go through the wood. So I've got this my wood here. It's just nearly got it. It's a new knife, so often the
Okay, I can see that burr's gone now. I'll just give it one more little drag through the wood. See what I'm doing there, I'm just using this. I've just got a piece of wood, it's not attached to anything, it just goes across the sink. One thing to note about this Janus 800, you're better off just leaving it in a bucket of water because it's a soaker and then it's convenient whenever you need to use it. Otherwise you'd have to soak it for 20 minutes or something. So I've removed the burr and I can feel that I'm down to the edge everywhere. There's no flat spots. So you have your strop handy. <clears throat> Get the blade dry. And then just strop to the angle, back strokes like this when it's stropping, to the angle that you were that you set. So the angle's not important. There will be a tiny micro bevel of around that angle at the end, but the larger part of the bevel will be completely removed by the next process. Let's say this, give it a good strop. Say it's give it a good stop and take a piece of paper, preferably yeah, some kind of essential bill, and just check it from heel to tip for dead spots. And I can I can feel that's that's fine. It's a little bit dead at the tip there. So just remember this is fairly coarse stone so just it's probably just a little trace of burr left on the tip. Let's take it through the wood again. You don't need to be very aggressive with your stropping. Aggressive stropping. Get a strop on. Don't get a strop on with your stropping. <clears throat> and then just test to that tip again. That's much better, very clean. So that's stage one, set the bevel.